By Skype today, I sought some guidance on the moral implications of this development from Father Tadeusz Pahocek of the National Catholic Bioethics Institute. What questions do you think this makes us confront here in New York State and, and certainly uh, in, in the Diocese of Brooklyn as Catholics? This involves a doctor in a fundamental kind of contradiction where you convert a healer into a killer. The medical profession has long resisted this going back uh, not just decades but millennia. If you go back to Hippocrates, uh, the Greek physician, he already was cautioning doctors against getting involved in any of this kind of proposal. And I think that when there's an appropriate effort made to educate people, to uh, familiarize them with the real issues here, and to point out really what's at the core of this, which is that when human suffering comes our way, how should we be handling it? How should we be addressing it? And what can medicine offer in the face of suffering? Is the best that medicine can do to offer us the opportunity to poison ourselves? Good heavens, that's a real failure of, of medicine. Certainly medicine can do better. And we've developed really sophisticated medicines now and approaches. I mean, when we talk about palliative medicine, when we talk about very well done hospice care, these are tremendous blessings. They allow people who are in their terminal stages to use the time that remains to them to have appropriate pain control and to uh, you know, use that precious time for important things like healing of relationships with family members, uh, you know, getting ready to die. It's not, it's not humanly right to just short circuit this. You know, we have several other states who have reached a point where um, medically assisted suicide is, is permitted. What are you and, and people who are really engaged with advocating seeing as far as a nationwide trend and how to fight against it? I think you know, this is a, a bigger human question that we have to grapple with uh, as a society. And I think that we're at the point still early on the curve that we haven't really thought these things through very carefully. There's a lot of emotionalism that I think drives people's judgments. And uh, the church is in a unique position to really call people to uh, reflection on this and to say, you know, your life is a great good. And the number of days that God has given you, those days, every one of them is precious. And you should treat that as a sacred gift. In addition to the lawsuit filed today, people who oppose assisted suicide may have an upcoming legislative battle in New York. New York State Senator Brad Hoyleman has proposed a law that would allow doctors to prescribe lethal drugs to terminally ill patients. Reporting for Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.